In this video, I will show you how to create your own network by using Windows Server 2019. So with the Windows Server 2019, I will show you how to turn that into a router and it will function as a DHCP server. And then we will use one of the other VMs that I have to connect to this router and get a IP address for that machine so that it can connect to the internet. So you'll have your own private network. So let's first start with Windows Server 2019. You could either click settings and then network or you can just go directly to network. When you're in network, you're gonna wanna have two adapters open. The first adapter, you're gonna attach it to bridge adapter and make sure the name is, is the right name of what you're getting, how you're getting the internet access. And in the second adapter, you wanna make sure that it's attached to internal network and give it a name, any name that you would like. I just called it private VM switch. And the name is actual the virtual switch that you're going to connect all of the other VMs that you would like to connect it to. So I already have the server 2019 running. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I label the adapters. So the one that is connected to the internet, which was adapter one, that I'm going to rename public. And then Ethernet 2, the other adapter, I'm going to call it private. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on the private adapter, click on properties, and then I'm going to change the IPv4 settings. It's important to have a static IP address for both the public and the private. So I'm going to I'm going to give it an IP address as 192.168.1.1 and leave the subnet mask as default and everything else can remain the same. For the public adapter, I want to make sure I give it an IP address of 10.0.0.98 which was the IP address received from the physical router. And so this is why it was a bridge adapter because it was able to get that. And so I just input the same IP address and just turned it into a static. And it is important to give it a default gateway of 10.0.0.1 so that you can exit out into the internet. And the DNS server, I just gave it Google's DNS server. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add roles. So the first role I'm going to add is so that I can turn it into a router. So you click next. And then I'm going to select remote access. It's going to give this uh, error message. Um, this is something that I have noticed on server 2019 as well as server 2022, is that when you're trying to enable or add a role uh, to your server and you're trying to add remote access, it gives you this error message. But it is a bug within the server. So in order to bypass this, you're just gonna have to click on previous and then click on next and then it'll just clear itself. Next is going to, you can bypass the features, leave everything as default. Then when you get to role services, you want to click on routing, then click add features, and then click next. For web server role, you can go ahead and leave everything as default. And then you're going to click install. 
this is going to take several minutes for it to work so so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so you can go ahead and ignore the yellow caution sign um, at the top you're going to click on tools and then you're going to click routing and remote access that is the server role that I just installed it takes a few seconds for it to come up then you're going to see that there's a red downwards arrow over your router you're going to right click it and click configure then you click next you want to turn it into a NAT so select NAT and then it's going to show you the two adapters that you're going to that you're going to use so what is the first selection it says use the use this public interface to connect to the internet and this is why i changed i renamed the adapter so that i can personally know which adapter or interface that i'm going to use to connect to the internet so we're going to click public now this one is an interesting one i usually select the bottom one where it says i will set up a name and address services later um, and that's because I use when I set up a router for as a when I set up a server as a router as a NAT router, I'm usually doing it in an Active Directory environment. And in this case, I'm not. I don't have an Active Directory environment. So for this demonstration, I'm selecting the first one. And then you just go ahead and click Next. And then it's showing that it's going to assign any IP addresses to those connected to the same network. And this is where the DHCP server will come into play. And so we're going to configure that right after this. So go ahead and click next. You can ignore this pop up window and click OK. And then you're going to click finish. Now that red downwards arrow is now an upwards green arrow, which means the router is configured. So select the drop down arrow for the IPv4, select NAT and double click private. And when you select private, you're going to see a window that shows up and it shows that the private adapter that we didn't select, it automatically added that adapter as the private interface for other Windows clients to connect to. And when you exit out and you click on public, you're going to see that it is the public interface, the public adapter is configured the right way with NAT selected. Now we're gonna go ahead and add another server role and this one is going to be the DHCP server. Leave everything as default. And if needed, I'm just going to select restart the destination server if required and click yes. And then I click install. Next, I will go ahead into the DACP server role and I'm going to go ahead and configure it. So I will select the drop down arrow for IPv4. I will right click IPv4 actually and I would add a scope. You can give it whatever name that you would like. I called it VM network. And then I gave it a good description. So the starting IP address, I have every IP address that I would like from the 192.168.1.0 network, but I would like to make the starting IP address for it to receive as .25 
and end it at dot 50 just for demonstration purposes so you can see how it works go ahead and click next I'm not going to make any exclusions so next leave that as default so click next and yes I want to configure these options now so I'm going to specify the default gateway select add and then I'm going to click next leave that as default leave that as default and yes I want to activate the scope and then I click finish then we're gonna go ahead and see the scope that is has been made and you can see that there was no leases given to any machines yet but this is going to change. I'm going to go to one of my other VMs. I'm going to use my Windows XP VM. The Windows XP VM has to connect to the same virtual switch that the router is connected to. So I have to go into the network settings of my Windows XP VM and connect it to that same virtual switch. And this is how to do it. So you open network then enable the network adapter and attach it to the internal network. Then it's going to have the default name, the N I N T net, but we want it to be the other one that we made, which was private VM switch. So you can see it that is already there listed in the drop down. Then you click okay to save the settings. And now I'm going to turn on my XP VM. Now, because it's already connected to the virtual switch, automatically it should already receive a IP address from the DHCP server from the server that we just configured. So I will verify this by opening the command prompt and input IP config all. And now we see what has been configured. It has received, it, the DHCP is enabled. It's receiving an IP address from that DHCP server. And the very first one is the 1.25. And the default gateway is the 192.168.1.1. So I am able to go to www.google.com and let's see if I can find my own YouTube channel. There it is at the very top. And let's click on the images so that we can take a look. This is a very, very old internet browser. So this is why it looks this way. And there I am. The first image is my own. And that's all that there is to it. I hope it works for you. Stay happy.